Recent survey about the condition of Metro bus shelters has the LA City Council taking action. They just approved a measure to install and renovate thousands of those shelters all across the city. KTLA's Jean Kang live in Boyle Heights now with more on that for us. Jean, good morning. Good morning, Frank and Jessica. Well, it's starting to heat up today, and that's part of this story here. That's because a lot of the bus riders here for the Metro bus line, they say they have to wait out here in these hot conditions, especially when there is a heat wave that we just experienced. But look at this. This is one of the nicer ones here in Boyle Heights. As you see, this one actually does have a canopy over it with a digital sign and a bench for folks to sit as they wait for the bus. However, one rider just told me that there's a lot of garbage, graffiti, and safety issues with unhoused people. What are some of the things that you've seen waiting for the bus? I've seen a lot of uh, gang riding, people riding on the windows. I think it's just the drugs. That's what's messing them up. And that's what's making us like not want to stay here on the bus stop, but um, I got to go, but have a good day. Yeah, he's got to go. Definitely got to catch that bus. Well, for tens of thousands of Metro riders every day, the bus or train is the only way to get to work or school. Change is around the corner, though. The L.A. City Council approved in a 12 to 1 vote to add 3,000. New transit stop shelters plus 450 more shaded areas across the city. 70% of metro riders are in low income neighborhoods. 84% do not own a car. Digital advertisements, well, those are going to start popping up at 700 of those bus shelters. City leaders have cut a 10 year deal with Transito Vector to upgrade public transit areas with the goal to provide 75% of bus riders in each council district access to cleaner, more well protected bus shelters. Let's take a look at the numbers, though. According to the Bureau of Street Services, out of 1,884 transit shelters in LA, one third are more than 30 years old, half are more than 20 years old, and 96% well, they are 10 years old or much older than that. Now, back out here live, coming up, bus riders were part of a new survey that was presented to the city council. They actually rode the buses, part of that survey. Um, some of the biggest complaints are how dirty the conditions are and also the fact that the buses are very late, made worse because of the pandemic. More on that coming up next. Reporting live here in Boyle Heights, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio. Okay, Gene, thank you for that.